Hello YouTube! I am Pinstar, and this is Pinstar Plays Nimbatus. Uh, so Nimbatus um, just uh, hit uh, their Kickstarter, or rather they just opened their Kickstarter. It's made by Stray Fawn Studio, the, uh, the the people that did uh, Niche. And, uh, well, I mean, Niche, I, I saw Niche when it was just a proof of concept demo. And uh, they went through their Kickstarter and developed it all the way up to the game that you've seen uh, back on my series here. And I think they did a darn good job with it. So seeing a new game come out by them, um, uh, just hitting our, their Kickstarter, currently in a proof of concept uh, uh, sort of demo mode. Um, I figured, you know what, let's take a quick look at it. See what they got here at the beginning and see what they can turn it into. Um, yeah, we'll start a new game here. I uh, poked around with it a little bit. Yes, yeah, so yeah, all this is early access. This isn't even early access. This is proof of concept stage. Um, this is Kickstarter stage. Uh, so yeah, uh, what you see here is uh, is not the only thing they have here. So um, as far as I can tell, we are the builder and piloter of a a space drone uh, set to do missions. So what you got to do is you got to uh, assemble your drone so that they can well do the missions. In this case. Our uh, mission here is destroy a transmitter and uh, destroy hives. Uh, so we'll uh, let's let's create a new drone, shall we? I've I've looked through all the tutorial here for this, so I know the basics of it, but there's a lot you can do here. So this is this is the uh, the the drone brain. Um, yes, you can make an ex you can hit a button to. Uh, uh, explode, but you can also have uh, um, a button that allows you to release other little drones. So you can actually make your your uh, ship sort of a a multi-parted ship uh, if you wanted to. I'm not quite that advanced in building just yet. All right, so let's see what we've got here. We've got our basic blocks. Um, yeah, we've got our thrusters, we've got our solar panels, these provide power to our weapon systems and shields. We've got our fuel tanks, which provide uh, fuel to our thrusters. Uh, got our shields to keep us safe. Mechanical parts, so we have hinges that can either freely wobble about or um, be motorized, um, meaning we can control it. Uh, and then here's that decoupler if you wanted to make break, make your uh, guy break apart into little pieces. Uh, but I'm not going to be going there just yet. And then we have a wide variety of uh, weapons, including a saw blade. Um, so you can go for any kind of ball of death you can think of here. But let's uh, let's see if we can get a, a little something going here. Let's experiment, shall we? Because, I mean, half the game here is this whole drone uh, assembly thing. Oh, yeah, there's also sensors and logic gates that you can tie into each other to quasi-automate um, some of your uh, drone here. And I think that's how you get get those little parts that you splinter off. You know, you can actually give them little brains of their own, essentially. But, well, let's, we'll, we'll dabble in that. We'll dabble in that. But first, we gotta be able to go. Um, let's see here. All right, let's get a couple of pieces here. About one of you, and then another one of you, and let's rotate you. There. Now, um, let's get some thrusters. Now, by default, your pieces are atta always attached to the center of your drone, but you can in instead attach them to other pieces. So here, we're going to attach this specifically to this angle block, and that affects its physics. And you get attached to that angle block. It's going to start and starting to look a little bit like the Enterprise here. All right, now we're going to need a fuel tank here. I think what I'll do, yeah, we'll attach it to this, but what I will do is rotate it uh, like so. Maybe a maybe a second fuel tank, maybe like one fuel tank per. In which case, you know what? Let's just attach them to each of these blocks to sort of balance out the physics a little bit. Now, the nice thing is you can take these out for a spin 
uh, on a test flight. Uh, so let's see, let's map this to a key. Um, actually, no, we're, we're going to need, uh, we're going to need left and right here if we're going to be able to turn. Um, all right, so if I do both, I go straight. We Okay, um, I, that being said, I would like to have a thruster that actually just lets me go straight. So let's go for one more thruster here. Actually, maybe two more. How about this? We will attach this to here. And let's get two more thrusters attached to here. All right, and these guys are going to be uh, bound to the up arrow key. You can bind each individual part. So now, if we take this for a spin. Ow, ow. All right, yeah, I'm not at the I'm not at the point of having defenses yet, game. I'm just trying to go forward. We All right, we're now now we look like a little guy. Like like a little a guy with his head like Superman here with his arms flailing back behind him. Um, but now we're a little unwieldy here. I wonder cuz this will change the physics on this. What happens if we point our side ones and really go for broke when it comes to uh, side thrusters here? If that'll let us turn a little bit more. <laughs> our guy looks like he's shrugging. Eh, is this going to work? Eh, I don't know. Let's find out. Mm. Eh, no, not quite. It was actually better when it was pointed. Actually, you know what? It might be better if we're pointed at a diagonal here. Now, you don't want them overlapping the uh, tutorial warns against that, because then that just makes wonky physics. All right, now let's test. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with each stage here and test the crap out of this. Yeah, I'm still not liking that turning radius. So you know what? Let's. I liked it the way we the way it was. Okay, it's still a little unwieldy, but I think we'll make do. And you know what? Here's an idea. What if we did little thrusters? Oops. No, nope, we don't want to rotate that whole part. What if we did that? And you're bound to the same key as this one. And then you, my friend, are here. And bound to the same key as that one. Hmm. Well, um, this is all well and good until I get stuck on something. So we might need a, a retro thruster. But I, I'm still liking it. Okay. Let's get a retro, th uh, a, a charged thruster here on the front um, that we can use to sort of back up if we need to. And I'll bind you to keypad zero. Okay, enough thrusting around. Um, all right, back up. Oh, I see what you do. Back it up. Okay, so if we get stuck... Well, if I'm getting pounded that heavily, but let's, let's, let's move on to weapons and shields so we are not just a, a sitting duck here. Now... Hmm... All right, shields create sort of a shield area around them. Um, we're definitely, our side area here is definitely large enough to sort of require this. Actually, why don't we move you guys f this way 
and then we add you here. All right. Now we're gonna need probably one one shield for the front here. Uh, let's see what 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 key am I gonna put to the shield? Well, we'll we'll come back to that in a moment. All right, I have an idea. I'm going to try something with our free hinge here. Sort of a wobbly, a wobbly weapons system here. Yeah, I have an idea. So one of the, uh, one of the beams here is a plasma short beam laser. It's sort of like a laser sword thing. Come on, rotate. Thank you. All right, you're part of the hinge. And actually, instead of that, we are also going to couple you with a direction or a distance sensor attached to the hinge. And you're going to be up like this, and we'll set the. So. Essentially what happens with this, with the sensor, the sensor will go off if it senses anything that crosses the beam. This weapon here is also basically a straight line beam. Um, so let's see if this, so if, if, if it senses something, uh, it will, it will output the key press of keypad one without me actually having to put output that. And then we'll have this trigger to keypad one. Now, if we copy this hinge here, and then, oh, actually, hang on, let me, and then paste, we get a whole new copy of it here, and we can rotate it around like this. Now, the question is, is are, now these hinges are going to make them flop around. Um, is this going to be a bad thing or a good thing? Hmm. Oh, well, of course they're not firing. We don't have any batteries for them. Derp to derp. Oh, and actually this battery, if we, if we put this part of the hinge and stick it here, that should, in theory, limit the, um, yeah, actually, here. Yeah. No, no, not that. No, we don't want to rotate that. We want to rotate this. Because we want, we don't want the hinge to go all the way back. We want the hinge to rock forward, but we don't want it to rock all the way back. So this will presumably help keep it in line. And also give it some energy while we're at it. Aha! So soon as All right, we're still well I I'm liking I'm liking the uh well it's not so much a hinge anymore cuz it's not rotating forward. Hmm. What happens if we take these off? If we if we get, give them a little bit more range of motion. Woo! Ow! Right, I think the physics is a little weird with these right now. We needed uh, we needed those we need those batteries back to stabilize them. All right. So even if it kind of defeats the purpose of the hinge. It's, it's essentially acting like a block, but this will be sort of our side sweeper weapons here. And you know what? I'm not fond of the jump thruster here. Um, why don't I just get a pair of regular thrusters 
and map them to the down arrow key. All right, now we need some forward-facing weapons, some some actual weapons, some real hard hitters. Um, some plasma sparks throwers, perhaps. I think that's a good idea. These are sort of like shotgunny type things. Yeah, mouse zero sounds good to me. All right, now let's test this thing. Hmm. This thing's a little bit too big for its britches. I'm not too sure about those weapons either. They're not really... Plasma sparks thrower. Yeah, I'm not too sure about those. Not to mention we're, uh, we're having some difficulty turning here. Hmm, maybe, uh, maybe these small thrusters need to be regular thrusters. And actually, what if we put you like this? Oop. Right arrow, right arrow, oops. All right, now let's try a different weapon. Plasma flames thrower, A. Eh? You, know, you know what, let's... EMP rockets, those sound a little bit nicer here. All right, these will be mapped to mouse zero. And our shields, let's let's get some more shields in here. Um, our shields will be activated by mouse pad zero. And these um, these will be mouse one. My, basically a right click so I can I can toggle on my front shields or our rear shields uh, dynamically Ooh. Huh. Our, uh, our things have seemed to have tilted a little bit here. But our, our design is getting a little bit more refined here. Right, not bad, not bad. Um, I'm still questioning the need for th these side things aren't really panning out the way I wanted them to. So you know what? Let's slim our craft down a little bit and scrap those. Yeah. Let's see how this does without... Oh, much more maneuverable. Oh, we took away the uh, <laughs> the sources of energy. Well, since we have more room here... Let's get, let's get energy that recharges itself a lot more aggressively. And then we got our... Uh, there's our front shields. Uh, 
One thing I've noticed, I, I put, I mapped these to the wrong sides and it's messing me up. Oh, that's so much better. Hmm, what might be a more elegant solution here is if we put you to the same uh, trigger that uh, fires. So when I'm shooting, I also have my forward shields on because presumably if I'm going to be shooting, I'm going to need my forward shields on and then I can independently activate my rear shields. All right, I like it. All right, let's save and exit and uh, try this on a mission, shall we? Let's launch. All right, here we are. Oh boy. Oh, Nelly. I think I found a hive. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Well, my shields are keeping me safe. Hey, we got one of the hives. What's this gun shooting at me for? All right, got those done. All right, let's try and get this other hive. That should cut down on the number of these little spawn dudes. You can see um, how lit up my... Uh, my... Uh, all right, good. You can see how lit up my uh, um, solar panels are uh, based on how much energy they all have. Ow. Ow. Gotta get rid of that gun. There we go. And here comes here's another one of the hives. Eep. Ow, ow, ow. Mistakes were made. Alright, these front shields are doing well for me here. I seem to be lacking a little bit in firepower. It also might just be that the EMP shots are not doing all that much against uh, these, I guess, biological things. Because, uh, I mean, they're called hives. I'm assuming biological. Oh no! I lost my shield! I hit the ground and I lost one of my shields. Oh, that's not good. Because now they can do damage. So I'm going to have to keep, uh, I'm going to have to keep my good shield uh, against them here. Yeah, your, your craft dynamically falls apart as it takes uh, damage. Oh, ow, ow. Oh, boy. Let's get those rear shields going. Yeah, I'm burning up my... Uh, my uh, my energy here. Trying to trying to keep myself hovering in the air. Oop, don't want to expose my flank. And yeah, these missiles seem to follow where my uh, where my mouse cursor is. So I guess that's one one item that you can't really automate. Maybe if I angle myself up a little, or shoot a bunch into the air and then bring them over. Yeah.
I want to say some someone. I I want to. I'm thinking one of my engines is damaged here. Yeah, I think I'm losing. I think I lost some of my engines here because I can't really steer that well. All right, we destroyed all the hives. Now we just have to find that transmitter. We can yeah, get our crippled butt back back home. Get these guys at long range. Oh, I think we found our transmitter. Hey, I destroyed all the hives. Where are you guys coming from? Nice. All right, now we just got to get our crippled butt back home. Ugh. Yeah. I think we got to go just straight back up. Yeah, ironically, the, the engines that are most reliably working here are the ones that are... Uh... Oh, back to Nimbatis. Phew! Plasma short beam laser tower. Oh, a new weapon. So, oh, so the stuff that we were tinkering with was, uh, was, uh, only a taste of the stuff. You can unlock more. Nice. Well, that, my friends, was Nimbatis. Uh, a very, very early access. Uh, like I said, if you want to support this, if you're curious about this, I will have a link to their Kickstarter in the description. By the way, this game was provided, uh, or rather this, this demo key was provided free of charge by the devs, uh, to me. Uh, but go ahead and check out their Kickstarter if you're curious to learn more. Uh, and of course, if you like this video and you want to see more like it, go ahead and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and leave me a comment, good, bad, or indifferent. Your feedback's always welcome. So until next time, this has been Pinstar, signing out. See ya!